the nature <coughs> of karma. No, no. What is karma? Karma is everything what, uh, what we are doing, even in this life, but yet we are bound by also karma from past. There's one thing that even death can't destroy it. Because whatever you have so in previous lives, you have to go through it whether you want it or not. So the, her question about the, the nature of illnesses, it all depend on which kind of illnesses. You see, very often nowadays, many illnesses are the repercussion of what we eat. So we can't blame karma for everything. You see, if you are putting poison in your mouth, you can't say, yes, I know I'm taking poison and put it in my mouth, that's my karma. You know? So we can't blame karma for everything when you are putting crap in your mouth. That's your stupidity. So whether you put the blame on karma, because very often the spiritual field is like this. When they don't want to face something, they will find an excuse say, that's my karma. Or that this person karma. You know, this is laziness. So if you analyze your own uh, I say, life, you will see the nature of your illnesses, where does it lies? Firstly, is how we think. You know, our, mi our mind determines our life. Nowadays, there's so many worry. People are so attached to so many fear, you know, but they are so, they don't want to grow. This since childhood, since small, you've been teach, you have to fear this, you have to fear that. So your life has become a whole bunch of fear. So you have built a certain cocoon around you, which you call your, uh, how you call this? Your own world, you know, your own, uh, no, mm. comfort zone, yes. You see? And out of fear, you don't go out of your comfort zone. But that comfort zone, how comforting it is, it is also poisoning you. Because this is not your true nature as being human. The nature of the soul is not in th into this comfort zone. You, you have a comfort zone of the mind. The mind can have a comfort zone of itself. Your body has its comfort zone of itself. But your soul has another comfort zone. And the comfort zone of your soul is freedom. You know, so freedom doesn't mean liberation or mukti. Yeah, you know, I'm talking about. You know, the soul is free. The same way, the soul is born. He don't turn an invitation when when he is coming. The same way, when he leave, he will be. He is ever free to live. But how you live your life here when you are alive, this is a misery of the mind. So karma is not only from past, but karma is also now what and how you are living your life. So that mindset of how you perceive yourself, of who you are truly, it's very important. So illnesses due to karma of course, there is certain illnesses which awake due to karma. But due to karma, illnesses which is linked with that karma have also the potential of its cure. 
when an illnesses arise, the cure also arise. There is no illnesses, but there is no cure. Of course, you believe so much in medicine, you believe so much into the scientists, uh, scientific proof of, of it, but they are killing you. You put your belief in them, but they don't believe in you. You put your belief in them, thinking that they are helping you, but in reality, no. They are killing you more. I have met so many people, you see, their life is fine, they go to the doctor, the doctor said you have this illness, from that moment they go downhill. So is really karma? And karma has provided the cure. The freedom of the mind, you see. But uh, you can free yourself. But for that, you have to be wise, you know. You have to really understand the nature of your illness, where is the root of it, what is the cause of it. And that is not outside, it's inside of you. The illness is not outside of you, it's inside of you. So where you will find the cause and the remedy for that illness? It's not in the outside, it's inside of you. The outside you will be guided. The divine will help those who help themselves. If you are just sitting there and expecting somebody else to help you, you are not doing anything, that's called laziness. Then nobody will progress. Then you will die, you will take another birth, you will have the same. Again, you will be in the same routine. Like I was telling when uh, Mataji last time was asking, you know, about Rama, you know. He said, look, you have found this world to be so marvelous, so wonderful. You have think that this world will give you happiness. And that's what you have fooled yourself through lives. Thinking, I will be happy in this world. I will be happy with so and so. And that's the, the reality, what you have built, you know. But Yes, if I do this, I will be happy. If I do that, I will be happy. But yet you forgot that your mind is purely bind by Maya. Your emotion is bind by Maya. Your intellect is bind by Maya. Only one thing which is not bind by Maya is your soul. And that's your true reality. If you s infuse, if you are sitting into that reality, but you are the Atama, no? Can anything touch that? No, nothing can touch that. You are here to burn the karma, you know? You are here to f finish the karma. The re often, illnesses arise as a reminder, you know? Because you don't want to hear what Swamiji is saying, you don't want to hear what the X, Y, Z are saying, you know? Because you think you know best for you. So you will take your own decision by yourself. And when you think that you will take your decision by yourself, then karma will act accordingly also. Now coming to the second part of your question. When uh, a saint or a sadhu or a s or avatar or whatever, take and heal somebody which is sick, it's also the allowedness of that person. You see, you willing, you know, if you sincerely will for it, then God can help you, then the saint can help you. But if you s are superficial, the, ec the, the, the result also will be superficial. So what is happening when a saint heal? Either the saint take it upon themselves, because they can deal with that karma and finish it, or they transform it. Because everything is made up of energy. And everything is made up of vibration. And whatever it's made up of vibration can transform and change. 
So that's what the saint does. When you're doing Om chanting, for example, you see, it is pure vibration, the cosmic vibration. So through that, through that cosmic vibration, everybody go in a state, you know, where the mind itself is transformed. So the root cause of everything, you transform the mind itself. So when you transform the mind itself, you'll be more at ease and more free. Otherwise, you're bind by karma, then you make yourself miserable. <coughs> and then endless will be your misery. Even if you have to take millions of life, you will still be miserable. Okay? <laughs>